and welcome to the VTech channel. For this show, we're going to be talking with Mark Rushton from VTech and Lorna Garrett, co-founder of Garland Partners. We're going to be looking at bandwidth. It's smaller than you think. Take it away. Mark, bandwidth. Is size everything? Well, Lorna, it depends. If you have no bandwidth, you have no video capability. Mm. But let's step back a bit. Bandwidth equates essentially to the volume of data that you can transmit in a given period from location to location. And what that comes down to is the amount of video that we're talking about today that you can get transmitted. So why don't I want to transmit uncompressed video? That would be the most volume of data. Surely that would give me the best quality. It would do, absolutely. But remember that HD uncompressed video you're talking about 1.5 gigabits per second. Oh, yeah. The other thing you've got to bear in mind is an unmanaged network. And so you may not have the consistent size of that bandwidth all the way through from end to end. And so therefore, to maximize the quality that you can achieve, you're looking at having to encode that mm. for delivery in a live operational solution, um, something like using various different codecs to do the right compression, looking at the managed networks and even things like stream protection to ensure that you're getting the best use out of that bandwidth. So that really means that your total available bandwidth is not just video, it's going to be video bitrate, audio, metadata, any IP overheads and stream protection. Yeah, yeah exactly. So one thing I think sometimes is missed is the fact you have to take into consideration other overheads, not just the video. True, yeah. And one of the things that you're looking at when you're talking about numbers, because people always say how big, well, okay, SD, maybe one to two megabits per second utilizing sure. the right codec. HD, four megabits per second plus. I suppose also it depends whether you're contributing video, which you always want to keep as high quality as possible, or distributing it, and then you, you're more conscious of your network, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, or you could be in a monitoring situation where actually the quality isn't necessarily as important to yeah, you than live. True. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And I think when you're looking at bandwidth as a whole, and it is one topic today we're talking about an episode, mm -hmm. but it does actually form a trinity. Mm -hmm. a triangle, if you like, the bandwidth, latency, and quality triangle. Your latency, your bandwidth, and your quality all interact together. And you're looking for that sweet spot, maximizing the amount of bandwidth you've got while not interrupting your quality and keeping your latency low. Certain factors will depend on your individual workflow. So it's all about trade-off. Exactly. And so it's about the best trade-off you can do between those three elements and your individual workflow. Thanks both, really enjoyed that one. If you want more information, remember head over to vtech.com. In the meantime, take care.